It's snowing with a little bit of rain. I don't know what's going on. I lied. It's snowing with a little rain and I have to step out. Hello, how are you? Hope you're doing good. I'm tired. My lips are really dry actually. I have to step out because I need to go get a few things for Lewis's birthday, um, which is tomorrow, Friday. And if you're watching this video, his birthday already passed because this is going to be the video for the next month, which will be February. Anyways, um, so I am going to Target to see if I can get uh, some few things. I need to get a bag. I'm thinking of getting a balloon and putting it... Well, I'm going to tie it to the bag and then hide it in the closet. So I don't want him to see it, but I want to wake up at a certain point in the middle of the night and put it on top of his desk. So that way when he wakes up, because he wakes up first in me, um, he sees it. So yeah, I'm going to go do that. I also have to go get a few things for myself, but I'm more concerned about getting his stuff than getting my stuff. And I'm going to grab, um, I don't know what time is it right now, to be honest with you. I know it's still early morning, but so I guess that means I can get breakfast. Anyways, I promise I'll drive safely. So let's get real for a second. I've been kind of overwhelmed, I guess would be the word. Um, I have school, I have an internship, plus I work a part-time job, and yes, I feel slightly overwhelmed, and I think it's more so due to the fact that my part-time job is like mid-shift, so it's hard for me to get motivated to do anything when it's mid-shift. Like my internship, I have to do it usually like after work, um, so I take time to do that, but then I have like five classes that I have to worry about, so like it's just been tough and the only days I have off are Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sunday. And like, I need one day to kind of just feel like, or not feel, but like one day for me, I guess. And Sundays have always been that day for me. So I don't like to work on the day and I know if I'm feeling overwhelmed, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. This is my last year. So I don't know, I'm thinking of either reducing the amount of time that I, at, I'm at work because realistically I don't need that much hours right now so that way I can focus on school and my internship and possibly if I get the job that I'm hoping I get which fingers crossed and that I speak into existence a million times then I won't have the Starbucks to fall on and it'll be that job but at least that job is more morning based so I can work with that more but we'll just see what happens because I can't I don't know we'll see what happens I feel just all over the place let me start going because I have a lot to do today and sitting here talking, not gonna do that. Oh, also, I have my photo booth that I ordered online. That's my uh, tripod too. That thing is massive. I know I talked about it in my last video and today I'm gonna actually put it in my room because I can utilize it, especially because in my internship we're getting over like the basics of everything and I gotta start making content and I need that photo booth to be up. So I'm gonna have to make room for it even though I know I don't got room in my small apartment. That'll be interesting. God, when I say I am lucky to have Lewis as my partner, lucky, straight tears, and I'm trying to keep it together. <sighs> I've made it to my local Target, which I haven't been here in a very long time. Miss it, love you, Target. It also really makes me want to work harder and having enough money, having enough money, because I love shopping, which is a problem. But if there's one thing I love shopping for the most, it's definitely home decor. Like, look at all those fleeces. <sighs> I just love it. I love it. I just. I can't wait till we have a house. I can't wait till we can decorate everything. I just, I'm gonna go crazy. Well, that's if I have a good job first because I'm not gonna go crazy if I'm broke. So there's that. Ooh. See, like, look at these are amazing and they're only 25 bucks. It's backwards, but it's 25 bucks. I don't have the bed, nor do I want to spend on sheets that are good because we are getting a new bed. So I'm waiting to get a new bed to them do that. And then they have all these awesome rugs. I just, yeah. And then it comes my favorite part of Target in the entire world. Like, I come here every single day. Like, y'all can't tell me Joanne's stuff is like it. This makes me so happy because it just means spring is around the corner and I will be 30. I'm excited to be 30 because that is a big milestone in my life. And everyone always tells me when you hit 30, that's a whole new chapter that really changes it. It's like when you hit puberty, essentially. Like you hit puberty and your body just goes out of whack. You feel completely different. You feel overwhelmed and stressed. I'm ready to feel that change of happiness and joy at 30. So 30, I'm ready for you. Like if I can make my home into a certain, or if I can take a part of Target and make it my home, this is it. This is it. Duh. All right, I should be looking for Lewis's stuff, not this.
I feel like I'm winning right now. I just, hold on a second, I gotta put my seatbelt on. So I just got a caramel macchiato at Starbucks. Granted, I work at a Starbucks, so I get this pound. However, I used my stars and got it free and only paid $2 for my croissant. I was smart spending when it came to Lewis's stuff for his gift. I did not buy the expensive things even though I wanted to, but I thought to myself, okay, for what I have in my bank account, does that make sense to do it? And I feel like it's a thought that matters anyways, or a thought that counts. I don't know if that made sense. So I decided to go with the cheaper ones, even though they still look nice in my opinion. I think they're still cute. The bag is adorable. I, the card is the only thing that I feel like I splurged on because the card is just, I had to get it. So I got it. The bag was only $1.50 compared to the one that was like $6. And I'm like, realistically speaking, he's gonna use the bag for like a second and then get rid of it. So why spend that much money on it? If I was making more money and like balling it in $6 is a lot, sure, I would've gotten the bag. But considering that's not the case, I have to be a lot smarter with my money. I'm trying very, very hard with all the expenses coming up to save, do better financially because I am the type of person that I admit I am an anxiety spender or stress and spender. Whenever I get like anxiety or I get depressed or I just get out of it, shopping is like the way to go for me and that's a bad habit to have because if you are like me, you know, how quickly get your bankrupt. So with that being said, I also thought about what I'm gonna eat for breakfast because I did get the croissant, but that's obviously not enough for a breakfast. So instead of me going to buy a meal for $10, I already have eggs at home. I might as well just get the other supplies that I'm missing and I can have breakfast for like the week. So I'm on my way to the supermarket to pick up the supplies that I need. I'm at Whole Foods now. I'm starting to think that I need to chill out when I go to jobs because I literally have worked at every job. It's not even funny. I've worked at a Whole Foods before and I hated it. I mean, I didn't hate it. No, I hated it. I did. The people I met there are super awesome, but the environment overall, it's not the place to be. So if you're looking to work there, I don't know, steer clear, I guess. I'm here to get some stuff for breakfast and some stuff for lunch and dinner. So, uh, oh, and I'm here to get something else for Lewis if it's not too expensive and soap. I love the soap from here. Like the bars of soap, it's like three of them for six dollars. If you haven't tried them before, you should. They're really, really good. I love them. I didn't make breakfast because it was already late, so it was lunchtime, so got me some soup instead, and I'm gonna eat that, watch a movie, and start getting the bag together for Lewis's gift, and doing some work, homework, and internship stuff. If I seem out of it, it's just because I am tired for some reason. I think it's the day. I don't know. I just brought this bad boy inside. Now I have to put it together for my buddies in their cage trying to get out but i have to find a spot for my out of breath that thing is so heavy like this has handles on it but you would think they would make it a little stronger considering how heavy it is no this is literally about to break off useless i'm about to get a yoga strap and put it on there um yeah i just have to find a spot in my room now to put it up it's gonna take up a lot of room that's for sure but i needed that i need it for my videos so yeah, this should be fun. I thought the power went out and turns out it hit the plug and turned off everything in my room. <laughs> fun! building that uh, I want to say it was frustrating because it is but I just finished building it and that is it right there she stands pretty tall almost touches well she doesn't almost touch the ceiling but she's as tall as my closet doors and my closet doors are from the floor to that point right there and that's how tall it is don't ask how tall it is honestly I don't know but I'm pretty sure it's no I'm not gonna even try to guess because I'll mess it up so now that I have that set up, I can use it for future projects. Um, it's gonna be like a mini studio. So when I wanna do something a little more professional and just have like a colored backdrop and do a video, like a sit down or something like that, I'm gonna use that. Or I can use it for products, which in the future I will be, you know, making some stuff and selling some stuff. So stay tuned for that. Just waiting because right now is not the time, but I will be doing it. So stay tuned for that. 
I'm gonna do some homework now. Maybe we'll get another drink at Starbucks because I'm addicted, not gonna lie. But I don't know, we'll see. I don't know, I'm still trying to organize myself and I have yet to do that, so fun day, fun day.